So you want to you want to try and navigate around LinkedIn and you have a title like this. If your title is like this, then please watch this video because you're probably in a situation where you feel like you can help everyone and anyone. And listen, I'm not criticizing you, you probably can. But for LinkedIn particularly, this doesn't work. And I'm gonna show you ways to actually go about having a title that actually converts into inbound leads because at the end of the day, I'm gonna teach you how to send cold outreach messages, but generating inbound leads is the best, is the best, right? I mean, <laughs> it's everyone's dream. So let's just dive straight into it. So how to actually have a title that generates you inbound, inbound leads and traffic. In this episode, I'll be explaining the importance of how to strategically structure your LinkedIn, your title on LinkedIn, sorry, to generate traffic and actually attract your desired audience. So let's break it down from a psychological point of view. And I feel like if I went to university, I'd definitely probably study some sort of psychology because I feel like if you can understand how humans work and how they tick and what makes people tick, what makes people want to speak to you, what makes people want to buy from you, I feel like you're gonna make a lot of money in this world. So how do 90% of humans think when we come across someone's LinkedIn profile? A user comes across your profile and these are the exact steps of how they will analyze your page. So firstly, they'll check your profile picture to see you know, whose profile am I actually on and who am I actually potentially gonna to speak to. And secondly, they'll check your background header because simply it's the largest part of your profile that stands out. So it's naturally, so naturally a user will look at it next. In episode three, I actually show you how to, how to actually optimize your background header to come across more of an authority and to just look a bit different to your competitors. So check that out. And then ladies and gentlemen, of course, they're gonna check your LinkedIn title and you have roughly 10 to 20 seconds and I'm being nice here. I would probably even say five to 10 seconds to impress a potential lead client before they scroll off your page and go about their day. So what are we going to do in order for them to not click off your page? We need a good title, right? So if your title isn't standing out and capturing their attention, they'll be gone in a flash like that, gone. Onto the next, onto the next page, onto the next person that can potentially help them. And so I'm gonna show you what not to do. Don't do this. Don't say you're a coach, you're consultant, executive coaching, CEO, speaker, speech and communication coach, public speaking coach. Do not do this. I mean, if you're doing this right now, then please allow yourself to change and watch to the end of the video because I'm gonna show you what to do. If you're doing this too, you know, loving intimacy coach, helping couples, founder, road trip, content creator, writer, blogger, and filmmaker. And I'm not criticizing this, you know, I've got, these examples of LinkedIn and you know what this person must be might be you know really talented this person might be able to you know is capable of doing content capable of writing capable of doing blogging filmmaking but on LinkedIn I'm sorry to say not a lot of people care people only care about what you can do for them I'm sorry to say it I know you might be, you might feel like I'm being harsh but they don't really care about all of this they just care about who are you and how can you help me? How can you help me get from my current situation to my desired situation? That's all they care about. And once I actually once I actually started doing that and I actually realized, okay, these people don't really care about me. They just care about how I can help them. And then that's when I realized what to start doing and help me generate, you know, five-figure clients. And so these are the reasons why you shouldn't do this. So leads would actually be confused in terms of actually what you do. I mean if you come across a page like this, like I'm actually pretty confused of, you know, what they actually do. They look like they do a lot, you know, communication coach, dialect, like which one, public speaking coach. I mean, it's just too much in my opinion. I don't know what you guys feel like. If you feel different, then please just comment below. I'd love to hear your thoughts. So you look like you help everyone. And we all know that someone who is trying to help everyone is basically helping no one please do not be this person that says, oh, I wanna help everyone and anyone. Please just fix a specific type of person's problem. That's all you need to do, I'm telling you. You don't need to, because people wanna try and do this because they say, okay, I can work with so many people and I can that way I can make so much money. No, if you're an expert in a particular field, trust me, and you have all the insights in that particular niche that you're working with, you don't need to work with any other industry. I'm telling you for a fact. And lastly, it's too much to read. A title should be short, sharp, 
and most importantly to the point, stating a problem that needs to be solved. And so what you need to do, ladies and gentlemen, people don't care about you, they care about what you can do for them. You need to state that in your title and be clear with your target audience, it's simple. You need to be clear with a problem you can solve in your title. Remember, you have five to 10 seconds, five to 20 seconds max, you know, so you need a good picture, you need a background header that stands out, and you need a bloody good title that stands out too, because like I said, in a flash, they'll be gone. So in order to do this, you don't need to waffle on, just make it short, sharp, and to the point. So it makes leads intrigued to find out more about you, and that's when they will start to scroll and see more of your profile, which is what you want them to do. So if you make it short, sharp to the point, they'll be like, okay, this seems quite interesting. And that's when, you know, they'll potentially scroll down and then they'll check your features section and then they'll check your about section. In later videos, I'm actually gonna show you ways to, you know, structure your feature section, ways to structure your about section so people can actually read about what you do and how you might potentially be able to help them. So stay tuned for that. And so this is linked in Deb's equation that I've made up. And it all is, it's the services I provide plus a target audience equals, in my opinion, unlimited inbound leads. And so what you need to do, literally, this is an example of one of my clients. I specialize in coaching non-native lawyers to boost their confidence through improved English communication effectiveness. That's all, she's not saying she's a speaker, she's not saying she works with this person, that person. She's saying that she's a coach. She specializes specifically in coaching non-native lawyers. So that's a specific audience. And then the mechanism she uses, she helps them and boost their confidence through improved English communication effectiveness. That's it. So if a non-native lawyer comes across her page, you know, she is, this is a clear way of a potential lead coming in as an inbound lead, shall I say, because she's just really direct with who she wants to work with. Another example, a leadership development coach for Fortune 500 clients. I mean, it literally gets this simple. She does leadership development coaching. These are one of my personal clients and she helps Fortune 500 clients. That simple. I mean, it can literally be, it's literally this simple guys. So do not be this, allow yourself to change. If you've got this on your page now, just do this right now. Boom, delete, gone, never again. And start figuring out ways you can just serve a specific type of audience and structure that in your title and I'm not necessarily saying that if you have a website landing page in your about section too you can also state a, you know other type of um, type of audiences that you want to help but in terms of your title it's just super important to be super super um, no, like niche down shall I say and so you know I'm sure you've heard this saying before the riches are in the niches and that is definitely the case we all know that so guys, stop lying to yourself. Stop stop saying you're a coach, this, that, that, that. Just be specific with who you want to help and just run with it. In order for you to find, you know, if you're saying, okay, but who do I work best with? Well, who have you got the best results for? And then stick that in your title. You know, the people that you actually maybe even enjoy, who do you enjoy working with the most? Who have you generated the best results? Who have you got the best testimonials? And then state that audience in your title. So that's it guys. If you liked this video, then, you know, as I said, like, subscribe, comment, share it. Um, and then, yeah, I'll see you in episode five because once again, episode five is going to be a banger. All right, you, all right, guys, take care and speak to you soon.